Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial for The Witcher 3 um, on crafting armor and uh, I'm going to show you where you find a master armorer um, earlier, on in the, earlier on in the game. So, um, slight spoiler here, so if you're not happy with that, don't watch this bit, but if you go um, to this zone, so where am I? I think I'm in Velen, am I? Let's have a look. Yeah, so in Velen, um, if you go to Crow's Perch, which is where you'll find the Bloody Baron, who's one of my favorite characters, uh, inside here, if you run right up here towards where the Baron's main house is, you'll find an armorer. Um, now there's a standard armorer here, so Fergus, and you can talk to him. Um, and he's an armorer that is accessible pretty much straight away. If we have a look at him on the top right hand side, it'll tell you what level he is. So you see it says armorer and journeyman. Now there's a quest that you can do here, and this is the spoiler, so don't listen now if you don't want to spoil the game and you're not at this point. Um, but basically there's a, a quest to get certain tools and actually it's Joanna who's the awesome armorer and Fergus has been you know living off of her skills for years so once you sort that quest out and um, you know you, you do that if you then go to her uh, do you know what I've just jumped in to see her stock so we don't want to do that come out oops that's what happens when you talk and you try and do stuff at the same time so if you go and see her she's a master armorer so she can make pretty much anything um for the the game so that's one thing is the skill of your armor and then you create um or rather you get recipes um throughout the game so you can see here or sort of they're not really recipes are they sort of diagrams is the word i'm looking for and you can collect the components so for example these outer folk boots are made up of these things so i'm using the d-pad to walk across here and I'm missing a couple of bits for this and depending on the armorer you can you know you can collect some of this stuff as you go around or you can buy it from the armorer or you can also dismantle stuff to try and get the bits that you need so I can see I need dark steel ingots so I could just buy them you can see they're quite expensive to start off with up you know quite a bit of money there so it doesn't really matter I could just buy them or I can dismantle so let's just have a little look at that first so I'm just going to come out of there so I'll go back one and in the crafting sort of sub menu, you've got repair, remove, upgrade, dismantle. So dismantle, you've probably noticed in The Witcher 3, <laughs> you end up with an absolute ton of stuff. You know, I just collect everything and then either sell it or dismantle it. Um, and we can, we can see all about it. But if we look at these things here on the right, it shows you what you can do with it. So you can dismantle it into pieces if you want. And that will tell you how much it will cost and what you'll get for it. So it would cost me 146 uh, gold whatever it is here uh, and I'd get those all those bits on the right hand side one of which is a dark steel ingot but I'm going to lose some armor so it's sort of a juggling game because sometimes you know you may think oh, I'll sell that and get the bits individually because I don't need all those components um, you know so up to you and again you've got the same thing with all the junk that you collect you know some stuff is useful and some st stuff is not so you can see there I could put turn this pure silver into a silver ingot so if you want to do that you can do it so you just uh, press the button uh, so press an a there and then i can choose how many i want to dismantle and so let's for example just do one and now i have a silver ingot in my uh, possession so you can see a lot of the stuff that you collect is just junk but you'll get some things like for example this ladder uh, shows as junk when you get it but it can be used as hardened timber and rope for the components so that, that works quite well um, and yeah there's all sorts of stuff you can dismantle you can even dismantle rune stones and stuff like that so going back though to where we were um, so we go back to the crafting um, as you're going through all of the um, diagrams that you've got um, you can decide whether they're good or bad for your character so you can see my character top right is level 52 so you know I'm very late in the game I've just jumped back to try and help you if you're earlier in the game um, but I've, if I flick through I can you know see what, what sort of stuff I've got that might be of interest to my character but I can see you know even if I built this one it's not as good as my current stuff that I've got um, you see it's on the right it says armor minus six so it's not as good as what i've got at the minute because i'm level 52. so the other thing to think about before you build um one of these 
bits and bobs is whether it's cheaper to you know buy it outright um, rather than collect all the components and this sort of you know up and down uh, if you've just run around and collected it it may be easier just to buy it here because you've got not only have you got to get all of these you've then got the cost of building it itself so you can see this one i've got all the parts it's going to cost me 103 um you know it's just like is it worth it is it not often you'll find that if you then decide to sell it it's not worth as much as what it was to make it so it tends to be stuff that you really want that you can't really get so going back to that it's always good to have a little look in the shop of the armorer um, and see what they've got and just see whether that suits your you know what you need so for example there's some nice swords here um, that they've got and you can see the top left uh, these little slots are something you can also do to upgrade your items um, you can put rune stones on that item uh, so and we're going to talk about that as well in here so I'm going to go on a little bit here just to try and help you understand what the heck is going on um, I can also sell armor here and it's best to sell armor to an armorer you'll get a better price uh, sell your swords and your weapons to a blacksmith um, and you get a better price for those so um, you know it's sell stuff to the the relevant um, merchant if you can um, so one thing that confused me was it, the game talks about upgrades and witcher gear and stuff like that so witcher gear you can't buy as far as I'm aware I don't think anyone buys it so that stuff you have to craft so and if we have a little look so for example um, these enhanced griffin boots um, it says I need griffin boots and I don't want Griffin boots. Uh, let's have a look. Hang on. So if I wanted to make, there we go. That's what I want. Griffin boots. Um, I need those before I can make enhanced Griffin boots. So this kind of threw me when it when I went through the game because it says, "Oh, you can upgrade your witch gear over time." So basically, you get as you progress. You know, there's this sets of armor and the weaponry for each sort of um, set of witcher gear out there um, you you get further in enhancements of um, the d diagrams and you'll need the first one to then do the second one a bit like you have with oils and other things in witcher so i'd need a pair of griffin boots before i could do the enhanced griffin boots so you can see that on the ingredients there that's one of the things i need so this can soon rock up quite a bit of cost and by the time you get to like the super duper versions like master crafted you know this soon starts racking up as quite expensive when you get all the bits and you need those boots as well so it's something you've got to think on and what's what's useful to you the witcher gear has a bonus so you can see for this one it says bonus up to three different oils can be applied to a sword at a time which is quite cool um, and if you have six pieces bombs are thrown without any delay um, the feline one you know each set of witch gear gives you other bonuses to them and they look pretty cool as well so they're worth upgrading over time so if you look at the um, little item there you see the top left of it so in the middle there the top left there's a little circle so that means I can apply a rune stone to this particular item and give it further benefits um, if we look on the right hand side just before we do this when you're looking at your different bits you'll, you'll see whether it's got anything special about them so you can see um, if we go back to these feline boots I've got 10% attack power I could have 4% resistance to piercing damage etc etc so each of these special armors tends to have certain benefits you also need to make sure that you've got the level to use it um, so this one's level 34 um, and which would be fine for me and down the bottom right it tells you what sort of armorer you need to make it so it, you can see it says craftsman requirements armorer master so if you're not by a master armorer you can't make this so this this particular armor could because she's a master so that's fine um as regards the diagrams where do you find them well you can find them in various quests so the witcher gear is all quests that you find um maps and then you have to go and find them um, and you'll also find if you go to the shop of an armor if we go back in there and then down here you can see diagrams whatever they've got so we've got um what are they here Not, nothing too exciting in here i think you get all the other bits and bobs in here as well different diagrams so you just look around in different merchants and you can find diagrams that way um so we were talking about actual armor itself what you do with it to 
you know, apply runestones or whatever. So first of all, let's just craft some armor just before we jump out of it, just to show you how it works. So we go craft, and I'll make just for example these. I'll give you two examples. So assassin boots, where you know I've got all the pieces. I can see I've got them all here, so I'm cool. It says I've got all parts present, and if I want to craft it, I hit A, boom, and it's made. Um, if I haven't got all the components, like you see here, we go and either disassemble some stuff to make these ingots, or because I've got lots of money and I'm feeling lazy, I could just say buy the bits. So that's going to cost me 150 for each one in there or thereabouts. So I have to buy three of them. I was using the Y button to buy them. Now I've got all the parts, so I can go back and go, all right, give me a set of them. So just for example, there, so we've made some older folk boots. I used had to, all those components there. It cost me, what was it? So uh, 150 for those extra bits plus the cost to make it itself um, of 160. So then we could go to the shop and just see what the armor would give us for that. Probably not a lot. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, 102. So you think, hang on a minute, <laughs> I've spent 150 and it's worth less than that to me. So you can't make money, as far as I'm aware, of making anything in The Witcher. It's more for your personal benefit. So don't think, oh, I'll make that and then sell it and I'll make lots of money. You won't lose money. Um, so the other thing you can do is apply rune stones and stuff to your items. So if we go away from the seller, um, like this. This is where you can further customize stuff and then go into your inventory uh, and then have a look at the armor that you're interested in upgrading. So you can see these folk boots that I made or folk, 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 whatever you call it, has two um, of these little circles at the top left. And if I look at the description there, you can see it says two things are empty. So if you click on it, do I click on it or do I, uh, or do I do it here? Oh, there you go. So if you find a rune stone, and one thing you've got to be careful of is certain rune stones can only be applied to armor and certain ones only to weapons. And so the armor has to have a slot on it ready to go and be applied. Um, and you can see I've just bought some other armor here. So I'd be more interested in putting one of the rune stones in there. So let's see what I've got. So I've got a, a greater glyph of Igni, and this will give me 10% sign intensity, and it's an upgrade. So this is how you can upgrade your armor, for example. And then when you hit A on that, it shows you where you can apply it. So for example, I've got three possible slots on my armor here. And I could say, okay, I'm going to add it to there. And now when I look at the armor, one of those slots is filled in and I can see I've got plus 10% Igni sign intensity. So it's a way of customizing the perks of your armor over time. So obviously the, the higher level you are, the more um, of these slots you get. I think the maximum is three um, on, on the certainly the main armor here. And typically you get two on each of these. But that means, you, you know, you can get a lot of runestones here. So one headache is what if you've got a sword and then you want to... Uh, or sorry, or piece of armor, and you want to get um, those rune stones back. What do you do? Well, what you can do is, if we go and talk to Joanna again, get out, hello, get out, um, and we go. Need you to make some armor. X to skip, and then in the if you click back one, you've got remove upgrade as an option. So if you hit remove upgrade. She'll show you, or rather the system will show you what you've got that you could remove upgrades from. So I've got this heavy armor here. And all I would do, it'll tell you the cost as well, because it's expensive. So you can see it will cost you 290 to remove that from it. And if I just hit A, that would remove it. And um, it'll warn you what it'll do. Upgrades will be destroyed when removed. So I'll do that. And then if we have a look at my armor you can see I've lost my original rune stone which is a bit rubbish really isn't it? so I've lost that <laughs> that just cost me like a load of time and money just to show you that but you get the idea with it that the um, rune stone is lost but my armor remains um, so really you only want to do that if you particularly want to change the rune stones because you're losing quite a bit of money there because you don't get them back to use on other things um, but it would allow you to change the rune stones are they rune stones? I can't even remember what they are or 
um, whatever they are, glyphs, glyphs, yeah, um, the glyphs on your armor, um, but you will lose them in the process. So it's generally only a good idea to apply stuff that you want to keep on there, and you're going to keep it for a good while. Um, that's about it. So the the weapons one uh, works in exactly the same way, um, but you I don't. Th you won't get the diagrams by like talking to this person here. We'd have to go off to a blacksmith, and um, the blacksmith is in another area. So, which is quite annoying, really. You know, you have to go off and find him. Um, in another area, but I'll show you where he is, or rather, a, a reasonable one, um, just before we end this. And then you're covered, then you know all about armor upgrades, you know all about sword upgrades. Job is all good. Um, I will just run there quickly just to show you the process. I could skip this, but why? Let's have a little little journey. So if you're in Velen, if you go to the fast travel, assuming you've discovered where this guy is, I'll just show you where he is. He's over here in Black Bow or Black Bar, whatever you want to pronounce it at. Now, one thing that's a bit confusing, this guy seems to be unavailable to talk to sometimes. So if that's the case, just rest for an hour or so, and then he should be around, and he's up here on the on the left. There he is. So again, exactly the same process. Uh, actually, that's spot on. You see, I can't interact with him, which is rubbish. <laughs> so we'll meditate. It's working, working for a living. Let's see if he's around now. There we go, we can talk to him now. So if that ever happens, just wait for a moment or meditate and then talk to him. Yeah. And again, we've got, would you craft me something, blah, 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 and exactly the same thing. So we've got the crafting components here. Wow, crafting. Um, so I can make the bits for it or I can make my various weapons. And again, it's the same thing. So I want this Dorian sword. I've got to make sure I've got the components and then I craft the item job done that's it so now you know all about crafting armor and swords um, you should be able to power up your witcher nicely I hope that was useful to you if it was give us a thumbs up please that's much appreciated please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in the witcher I've got lots of uh, movies I'll do further videos on tutorials of anything you want to know about and um, yeah hope that was useful for you